Mish here, Gino Pediatrician here, and my top five tips for thumb sucking. Number five, positive reinforcement. If the child is able to show restraint and halt sucking their thumb, you want to reward that with positive reinforcement. That could be in the form of praise. It could be in the form of rewards that you know will appeal to the child. Number four, negative reinforcement. This would be the most common method parents use by telling a child off. Although this is easy, this can often bring in a lot of tension to the relationship between a child and caregiver. Number three, you may be able to substitute the hand and the mouth with something else. Things that are typically of use, things such as snacks, such as popcorns, can interrupt the compulsion to put the thumb in the mouth. Number two, noxious stimuli. This is uh, often used but can lead to more drama. The typical nail stop and other brands of nail polish that are used to stop thumb sucking and nail biting are extremely noxious. I would use something more mild such as lemon juice. This is particularly useful if there's a lot of thumb sucking happening in sleep where it's typically the child isn't conscious and aware they're doing it. Number one, the number one tip I would have for a child who's got problematic thumb sucking is to see if you can introduce a physical barrier, particularly if it's happening at night. This could be in the form of a sock, in the form of a little guard, or even sellotape. That will often provide enough negative stimulation for the child where they won't wake up and cry down the house, but then will start to reduce the amount of thumb sucking.